Hi guys, Mikey of the 732 Review Crew back watching Cowboy Bebop. This is the anime, English dub, and this is episode 2 of the anime titled Stray Dog Strut. Now, this is my first time watching it, and I'm doing a solo reaction for this series. Unlike most of our other shows, which do have the, you know, the group of guys, or just, you know, one other person involved, this is my first solo reaction series, and I'm very excited to be delving into some series that I have not, you know, gotten to. Now, Cowboy Bebop has been on top of that list, right next to, like, Death Note and other things, just to hint at its few, you know, um, and I'm very excited to start this one, the second episode especially, because with the name Stray Dog Strut, I'm curious if we're going to find out you know, the origins of the dog that's a part of the Cowboy Bebop crew. Because I do know there is a corgi that is pretty famous that's a part of the crew. Don't know its name, anything else. Just know there's a dog. Um, I'm very excited to find out what Jet and, I believe, Spike are up to in this episode. As we learn more about those characters and the universe around them. I'm super excited to see some of this fantastic drawing, hand arting, hand drawn art. And I'm also super excited to listen to the intro again. Because the intro to the intro has been stuck in my head. So, without further ado, without further ado, three, two, one, let's jam. You can't run anymore. We'll shoot. It's all over, Abdul Hakim. Abdul Hakim? Ah! Woo! What was his race? Excuse me? Oh, they're in the desert, so it produces moisture, so that... Okay. That's pretty cool. That case is big enough to carry a small person inside. Or a treasure. Can't really small person? It looks thin, so I'm gonna guess the dog's inside there. That's a pretty easy guess, I think. Man, he's tall. Holy crap, I didn't get to see how tall he was. Oh, he's gonna make him drink it. He's massive. Drink it. Snatched. Let's see what kind of loot I got. A dog. Bark, bark. God, art appreciation. That is so fucking cool. So clean. The wear and tear drawn in through the shading slightly with little marks. And Hakeem's still out there, eh? Seems that way. Damn it. Long chain on this one. Way of the dragon model. Hey, pretty good eye. That's a rare one from back in the mid 30s. Yeah, it's an antique for sure. Huh? <coughs> Did you run out of funds? Kind of looks like Leorio. Surgery, Hakeem. You got it all wrong. I'm not. Don't move. Pretty slippery the way you change your face around. Oh. A Welsh corgi. They're very sweet, but you see them everywhere. You could sell him for about two. Two hundred? No, no, two wulongs. Didn't really want that pig. Hey, that was him. At least give me two hundred. Sorry. One twenty. Zero. I'll take it back. <laughs> huh? Is it killing him? Is that the secret power? It's a fucking combat dog? What? What is that? Huh? Yo, soundtrack go it right here, ready? Yo, jump. Yeah! Parkour! So you a bounty hunter? Or some animal rights jump? You know you really make me laugh, Hakeem. Risking your life for a dog that's only worth a fistful of wulong. What's it to you? Nothing but a giggle. But you're worth a barrel full of wulongs yourself, my friend. Woo fight, let's go. Okay, okay. Can't see it, but I imagine Spike's doing well. Who's gonna jump it? What? The dog! What? What? <laughs> gonna stand up with a dog. Yeah! That's our new dog. Nice little collar, alright? Yeah! Got a dog instead of a duck, huh? <laughs> the dog is worthless, Spike. 
but the owner is worth a fortune. I hate kids and pets. Who's a good dog? All a royal pain in the butt. How I pet. Nothing if this kid seems that way. He has no idea. He says seems that way so much. Oh my god, he's doing it again. The dog whistle. You know what that could mean? It's very risky. A dark missile, they said? Is it on? I can't hear it. It's too high pitched. Only animals can pick it up. I knew that. I was testing you. Well, what the fuck? The moment in the legend of spike. <laughs> Are you happy, dear? Everything's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. Did Gunner put anything to shoot? Oh my god, he has got a net! Damn it! These are like Pokemon level villains. Ooh, Scott. There's our man. But they do have guns. Bite his hand, bite his hand. Come on, he... Oh. Buttons. What buttons are they? What the? Shit. This is why I hate that. What a catch. Okay. He stole a mysterious data dog, which was developed in an illegal research lab. Data dog? I wonder if the dog has the brain of a, uh, brain of a human. Get down. No dogs on the table. That's oh. cool. See you next time. I love how the Japanese portray, um, Americans and other cultures in anime, because it's always over-exaggerated for, like, a hilarious way. Like in those two bounty hunters, for example, um, another famous note is Keith from Yu-Gi-Oh!, his fucking America bandana and stuff like that. It's just so funny. Now, uh, to discuss this episode, this was a very interesting episode. Uh, Spike is chasing down a gentleman named Abdul Hakim, I believe, who had facial reconstruction surgery. And the episode was pretty quick. It was pretty good. It was just really... Um, there was a dog that... Apparently a data dog. I don't know anything about those yet. But he was taken from a lab by this gentleman. They're technically illegal labs. And as a result, you know, the dog's probably worth a lot of money because it's has illegal experiments done to it. You're not allowed to do them, but at the same time, if they're done already, I imagine the highest bidder will take that dog, whether the dog has the intelligence of a human or the brain of a human, I'm not sure yet, or just extra intelligence. I think I want to go with it. It has the intelligence of a human at minimum, maybe the brain of a human, which would be interesting. It's a really, really, really smart dog, and they, they kind of highlight the fact that the dog is a mongrel and a mutt and whatnot, when it's actually, you know, Welsh corgis are very, you know, could be a thoroughbred dog. They said 100%. I'm going to assume that it's, you know, it's a pretty thoroughbred dog, but in this world, they're so common that two Wulong each, which I don't understand the uh, conversion yet. I don't think I have to understand the conversion ratio. And that they, for that is cheap, considering, you know, information is too long and bounties are millions, like the highest ones. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Once again, the voice actor, uh, I believe. Spike's voice actor is honestly just amazing. He is just, you know, I feel like I could watch just any anime and throw him in as a voice actor, and he probably would carry it as a main character, side character, villain, anything like that. And it obviously is interesting listening to and watching a dub. The only dubs I really ever watched growing up were, I guess, what was ever on Toonami. <clears throat> Whatever was on Toonami, it was Dragon Ball Z. And like the Gundams and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit of One Piece in the beginning when I was a kid. So I switched to Japanese when I finished that. Naruto a little bit in the beginning, but I switched to Japanese to finish that. Um, like Eureka 7 and Code Geass originally. I prefer Japanese versions, honestly. This one has been a lot of fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. I'm going to actually pull up the um, my phone. Talk. Reason um, I want to watch the Japanese version while I have this discussion because there was a couple funny moments in this anime, and I know that when animes are dubbed, sometimes in order to Americanize or Westernize them, they do include humor and remove dialogue. Cowboy Bebop feels like it could be 
both um you know it could have it could be serious and have you know actual dialogue or it could be a, a meme show with some of the dialogue not a meme show that's a bad way to put it but like you know a joke show for example like that one guy kept saying you know seems like it looks like it you know and their conversation was led me to believe that so while i'm looking this up we're gonna next the thing i'm gonna discuss obviously it, the drawings everything like that is absolutely amazing um the big thing i want to just i love how you can see the age and the wear and tear on things just simply because of um their ability to draw shading differently you see the damage the burns you know great marks you know they're in space you know so their stuff's probably bouncing off the hole every once in a while that gets little rocks so it's cool to see that um the ship's designs are awesome especially how much detail they put into that you know the just married the, the couple was really funny especially because they were like you know especially when abdul robbed there he was like get out of my way the the one villain that stole the dog did remind me a lot of lurio from uh Lurio from Hunter x Hunter, which I will... I'm sorry, Hunter Hunter, I believe the correct pronunciation is. I will post that uh, in the edit when I do the edit, you know, in that scene, so you'll you'll see it in that moment. But besides that, I mean, this has been a great intro so far. But, yep, nope. So it seems like that was actually the jokes in here. So I got to the scene. It does seem like that they did translate the jokes quickly, and they're doing it like that. So it's not supposed to be an overly serious show as based on the first two episodes, you know, but it does have serious moments. Um, I like how really just how self-contained some episodes can be because sometimes with anime, 25 episodes of building up and all that. And I, I really kind of hope that for the first, maybe even 10 episodes of Cowboy Beep Up, we either get new people added to the crew or meet people that show up again. We expand upon, you know, Jet and top of Spike, you know, Spike being the main character, I feel like I learned about him enough already in the first two episodes. Besides his backstory, like him as a character. Jed, on the other hand, I want to know more about. He's, you know, I know him as the chef. You know, no nonsense. He's, you know, he's very experienced, it seems. But him and Jet, him and Lee, I'm sorry, Spike have been together for a while. But at the same time, I want to see more of him. I want him to have like a standalone episode, if possible. Now, I do know that this is rated TV-14, so there's a lot, there's death and stuff like that. So I do imagine... That if we do get introduced to new characters and main characters, side characters who join the crew or something like that, there's a chance they either may betray the crew, that somebody may die. So if that happens, I'm going to be quite curious to which ones it is. Because I, I, I hate to say this, but you know, obviously Spike can't die until maybe the final episode. If he does die, Jet would be a prime candidate to kill. We want to see Spike be a serious person, and I would only do that in the last two episodes, three episodes. Besides that, once again, I discussed, you know, the intro and ending music is absolutely amazing. But I have to give a shout out to that, you know, the, the OST during this episode, during the chase scenes. It was great. At some point, I feel like I lost myself to the OST while I was jamming out more than, you know, paying attention to the scene, which I apologize. But, you know, that was, you know, it's very hard to find, you know, good OSTs that you vibe on that don't interrupt the mood of the show or, you know, don't overpower the show. And in that one, it was just like the perfect vibe and... You know, it was great to have it. Besides that, um, just I'm curious to see what's going on. I know I have another five episodes, so I'm excited. To keep going. If there are any episodes that should be released two parters, like you know combined, you know, I like a part one, part two, it's that like episodes. Other than that, though, I'm probably gonna be doing one of these a week, uh, so I'm done. I, I might finish the series early and have my edits done early, so doesn't mean I can't start a new series and start airing that on top of this. This is just, you know, me again deciding that I wanted to have some stuff that I haven't watched already be watched. And the guys have seen these shows, so it's not like they're missing anything. I know it's fun to have other people on these, but at the same time, I just want to see how a solo reaction goes because it can be fun for you all to learn about me and go through these journeys with me. Especially, you know, as we get deeper into shows and I connect with some characters nobody here to you know take over the discussion or anything if i get emotional and so uh, i'm very curious to see what's happening besides that i'm just super excited to get deeper into the world of cab beep up there's so much to learn about what seems like a cool universe and you know no pun intended i can't wait to see you know the rest of you know the sites out there in terms of you know 
if there's a central bad guy or if there's a full affiliation or a, a rival for Spike even that's like another bounty hunter who steals his, you know, this, steals his catches. I'm just excited to find out. So I don't have anything else to say. Thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Mikey of the Review Crew. If you do enjoy Cowboy Bebop or if you want to figure out, you know, something for me to watch, head on over to our Patreon. I take suggestions over there and on our Discord. But you can watch this in full length on our Patreon. First episode was free. These ones will be, you know, under the $5 tier. Any support does help go a long way. Other than that, if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe. It does help you because it helps me understand, you know, which numbers are, for example. If you guys like Cowboy Bebop a lot, I can start doing more of these solo reaction shows I haven't seen that the guys have seen or maybe, you know, two on, you know, me and Eddie or the other guys. But besides that, I really just want to say thank you for joining me and I do hope you see you for the next one. Bye.